Hello everyone, Zine Zuma here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Teach, Tomas, I mean Solon and his lackeys, their whereabouts have been discovered. Apparently they're lurking in the sealed forest, not too far from the monastery. Rhea has called back all of the knights who were out searching to round them up. Seems like it could take some time for them to make it back here, but she didn't ask for our help. Why keep it a secret? Perhaps to prevent you running headfirst toward revenge? It's only natural that you would leap at the chance for it. Anyone would. No. I will not allow it. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. You can't stop me. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. Listen, Rhea, and Lady Rhea, this move is the most strategic. The military strategy I'm devising will soon echo across Bodlin's history. I'm sure of it. Just think about it. Most of the knights are still far away, and we can't afford to have Sedith and friends abandon the monastery. So the only person who can take action now also happens to be our best commander. It's Teach, and wherever Teach leads, we'll follow. And since you've taught us that this sort of thing is always a possibility, we're already prepared for battle. We can buy the knights more time. Not for revenge, but for a defensive attack on behalf of the monastery. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. You have the protection of the goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. We have our orders, Teach. Now all that's left is to pull out a miracle. <sighs> and before we go out, one more thing to try. You've done me a great service. Save. Certifications. Bingo. Past. Just what a we new path to. Sorry, I fail. Mission The Seal Forest Snare. Let's rock and roll. We only get one move. My thank you so much. Let's go. One chance. Well, technically ten, but who's counting? The sealed forest is up ahead. Visibility is awful there, so everyone needs to be extra cautious. You seem to know a lot about it. It is just a forest, isn't it? Have you been there too? Oh, never mind. Listen, just like I told the Archbishop, this is not a war of vengeance. It's a riddle, so to speak. Those guys are undoubtedly planning something terrible. We need some kind of clue as to what. The attack on the Holy Mausoleum, Flane's kidnapping, that foul business in Remire, the demonic beasts at the chapel. It can't go on. We need to figure out their objective and stop them from achieving it. That's our mission. So we have our mission now. We had better not fail. It is a difficult task, but we will succeed. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. An enemy whose objective you don't understand is a frightening prospect. We're gonna destroy him. It's our mission! I will have my revenge, whatever it takes. On that, I will never budge. Leone, you will have what you seek. I'll admit, vengeance sounds pretty nice. But don't forget that we're here for information. 
Luckily, we can easily find what we're looking for while getting revenge for Geralt. Right, Teach? Right. Inventory. I am this. Uh, yeah, I'm not that on defensive. Uh, Raphael might be good to. This is our map. We want to get that chest. Here is Monica. She's an assassin. We don't get to read a Phantom's description yet. Going up. So I'm going to send one to the left. How kind of them to welcome us with some demonic beasts. They're not playing around. Hello, you're here. Welcome to the Forest of Death. <laughs> My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. Now, you vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. Ronya. Those who slimmer in the dark. An anthem. Prep to archaic methods. The sword is the disciple Kronya's preferred weapon. Now we get a see, see, see. Ready and willing. Of our enemy, truly. Who, me? I stand ready. That one? I got this. Let's get to it. Ready anytime. Tracks. Leave it to me. Stay focused. If this takes too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. <laughs> then you don't intend to flee. Thanks for basically stating your intention. We take out the mud beast first. No 
time like the present. Don't underestimate us. Ready any time. I got this. Get out of here! Sorry. Don't know my own strength. Stay focused. I have held back. Hammer goes away. Let us away. Let me paint you a picture. Who knew? There goes the democracy. Hey, look at you. Predictable. A chance to grow. Yeah. I get things done. Magic staff. I stand ready. Ready and willing. Yeah. <laughs> Never underestimate an outsider. 
Well, it's not luck, it's fate. Ready anytime. Speed rig. Not amazing. Me? Not bad either. I stand ready. I stand ready. Stay focused. You're a fool to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. <laughs> I'll have to kill you too with my own hands. Another step.
could I really lose to a lowly creature like you? Well. Solar, don't just stand there and stare. I need your help. Yes, you most certainly do. Unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies! you go professor they were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell an eternity wandering in a void of nothingness never to return to this world to think we almost had the sword of the creator i don't believe anything you say our professor is still alive that's right our professor is no ordinary human i refuse to believe that teach would die in a place like this it is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. Hey, all I hear is good news. Teach is still alive. And if that's true, then there's only one thing to do. Defeat you while we wait for Teach's triumphant return. Prepare yourself. We will avenge our leader here and now. How trite. But if you wish for pain, I shall oblige. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. Whew. You fool! What were you thinking charging right into an enemy's trap? Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. I'm sorry. Apologizing won't make things right. This darkness is terrifying. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I am not. I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet, <sighs> there is no other choice. What choice? Do you recall your father's diary? He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. My name is Sothis. 
By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died and then returned. Somehow I know it to be true. There is but one thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so, I must relinquish all the power that I have to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass, then I shall disappear. I won't allow it. When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours. And you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Thank you for everything. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. <laughs> your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? Thanks, Mash, for ruining this cutscene. Teach. You are Teach, right? I always believed in you. I knew you could cut your way out of anything. Let's go ahead and take down Solon, and then we can reflect on what happened. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself. I may never have the chance to send you back there! Fusing with Sophus allowed the Sword of the Creer to regain its true power. Sublime Sword. Creer Sword. The Exalted Sword of the Creer. By a Can wield it. Enables. Sublime Heaven. Sublime Heaven. Might increases based on Munis magic. Effective against dragons. We have now changed. Sure. 
bad is that? Defeat Solon. We technically just go straight up to him, but... Ah, we want whatever this guy's holding. So, we're gonna pull off. Let's do X. Much needed. Ready anytime. I think Dance will take the left. Let's get to it. Leonie will take the right. Tilda will take the right. I got this. Raphael will take the left. Lawrence will take the left. Sifia will take the right. Flame won't be able to reach. I've got another option. Sorry, but victory is mine. I'm impressed. I can do this! Yeah. Huh? 
it worked out. Everyone is Look so at you. angry, apparently. Fitting. Just fitting, though. Of course I won. There's still... I did it! I did! I am terrified by you, even though an emotion like fear has no place inside me. That means you must be eliminated. Watch and learn. I have no time to waste on the likes of you. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. Progress suits me well. I feel like I grew up a little. But this is not the end. Tullus will carry out our mission, somehow. I guess this is still far from over. Yet in two routes, yet in motion, yeah, in two routes, this is where those in Slipper and Dark really just end that plotline, which sucks, because seriously, they shouldn't. End. My thank you so much. Teach, we won. I'll be honest. When I lost sight of you, I broke into a cold sweat. But Gerald's killer is dead. All's well that ends well. That's true. You're kidding, right? 
I understood putting it off while we were in battle, but now that it's over, just go ahead and spit it out. That hair, those eyes, that unfathomable power. What happened out there? I'll tell you. You mean to tell me that an entity who claims to be the goddess was living in your mind? And it's been that way since you were a baby? And this goddess entrusted all of her goddess-like power to you and then vanished. It's a difficult story to swallow, Teach. But the way you look now, I guess I've got no choice but to believe it. How could something like that happen? There must be a clue in Gerald's diary. If you believe the diary, there's a high possibility that Rhea did something to you when you were born. That's likely when all this began. What in the world happened to you as a baby? And what was Rhea after? Teach! What's the matter? Did you trip or... Wait. Are you sleeping? This must be an effect of the goddess's power. I wonder if Teach's body can handle the strain. Think, Claude. What now? Maybe Hilda can help carry her back? She'll complain, but she won't refuse. Professor, you must remain still. Where am I? Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. <laughs> How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the goddess. From the moment you took hold of the sword of the creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis, which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. I will be watching over you. Always. Always and forever. Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, Beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. I'll let the cutscenes play, and then I'll end off the episode. Because I'll be real, not much else I can talk about or do. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. 
I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Geralt realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Seteth, enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb? The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There, may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. A mission? It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Strange. The occasion is too significant to be missed. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Rhea and Sedith were not their usual selves. What happened to Teach that's questionable? And what really awaits at the Holy Tomb? The way they were acting, I don't think they have any plans of sharing that information. Surface and awakened the regenerative god power. Violet obtained the certification for the enlightenment one class. It's time to start anew. <sighs> Not that. I'm first going to shoot the class back to the dark. Fire. A new path to tread. But just to show off what's. Is yeah. There's very few uses for terrain resistance. But this is for this episode the land. Next time. As you can see, there's only preparations that need to be done. So, next time, we will prepare for a mission. Zeno and Zimmer, signing out.